In today's video, the biggest snowstorm of the year hits at my house. So I try to shoot some video of my model trains plowing snow off the tracks. But <laughs> it doesn't go very well. So I clear all the snow off the tracks myself and run the trains anyway. And I end up getting some pretty interesting video out of it. Not exactly the video I set out to get, but I think you'll like it. These are certainly scenes I could never get in California, where I used to live. February can feature some of the most brutal weather of the whole year here in southeastern Washington. So when I saw the forecast for a big snowstorm coming our way, I left train tracks set up on my back patio so that they could get covered with snow. And it ended up being a doozy of a storm with wind that blew the snow right off of my roof and onto what I thought would be a protected covered patio area. But as you can see from the snow covering all the patio furniture, the wind blew the snow onto everything. Now in some of my previous videos, you may remember seeing a Zim sign in one corner of my backyard. Well, this snowstorm was doing a pretty good job of covering it up. And I liked the way the snow made my spruce trees look. My fantasy was to get some shots of my model trains plowing through the snow. But that was a whole lot easier said than done. Because with as much snow as we were getting out of this storm, it was really just too much for my model trains. Running into a pile of snow was kind of like running into a pile of bricks. And the snow made the track so slippery that the trains just couldn't get the traction they needed. I gave it a few tries, but it just wasn't working. So I gave up for the day. Overnight, even more snow fell, and by the next morning, there was six and a half inches of snow on the ground. There was no way that the trains would be able to plow through that. So I ended up clearing the snow off the tracks myself, and I was able to get my White Pass diesel train to make a successful run on the layout. With snow still falling, conditions just really were not that great for playing with model trains outside, so I decided to call it a day 
because the forecast said the snowstorm would pass by the next morning and conditions would be a little better tomorrow. Overnight, we managed to get an additional three and a half inches of snow, bringing the storm total to 10 inches. Pretty impressive for a city that normally only gets four inches of snow in an entire year. And with 10 inches on the ground, the Zim sign in the corner of my yard was completely buried. Again, I shoveled all the snow off the tracks myself and tried out a new idea. I used warm water from the hot tub to melt away all the remaining ice and snow from the tracks. With the tracks now clear, we finally had really good conditions for running model trains. much more video to show you right after this.
you are not approved to overtake the Super Chief. Stick around, I've got a lot more to show you right after this.
speed again now.
job, fellas. It's been a lot of fun today. Pull it in now. It's time to call it a day. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. That tells YouTube that this is a good video that they should be recommending to other people. It helps me get more viewers for my video, which generates more ad revenue for me, which allows me to buy more model trains to share with you in future videos. For now, we're hunkered down here at my house, waiting for the snow to melt. Hopefully in my next video, the weather will be a little warmer. I'm Jim Zim. Thanks for watching.